Hello, Cobra, so welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. I'm Shrekler Tamer. Last time we got here into the Bin Factory and felt the Hammer Brothers, turned them back to normal, and retrieved the hammers as the babies. So now we can break stuff and turn them underground and collect beans and stuff. So, now that we have our hammers, we have a few quick puzzle elements to blast through, hammer our way through, and there's more facey machinery. Just a nice little touch to this place. It's like, this is very vibrant and hyper place, and looks like he, he's had a lot of, uh, hubba bubba bubble tape, bubble gum, swag. And I completely missed that button, but I hit it in my second try. And it's red and blue, why not red and green? Keep the theme going. Wall, switch, whack, Joy. And let's see if I can make this. And yay, cheating. Well, not really cheating. Just getting things opened up. And didn't really need the tunnel under there. Well, oh, actually, yeah, I knew to get out. It's like the Woohoo University, just with, uh. I don't know. It could be considered to be just as messed up. So it's like, of course, it's where, like, the. You know, toes are getting. Sapped all their power, and like the Woohoo University is like, you know, professors getting turned into enemies. Hey! Check it out! Now we'll teach you to fight with the hammers like we do! Choose the hammer! Alright, Spine Swoopa. Now, when your hammer shakes, press the X button! Tell the little green touch, press the Y button. Hey, I'm. Just because I'm a baby doesn't mean that I can't understand Hammer Brother ish. Press the Y button, and it shakes. Now, how to counter an attack. Counter an attack is called counter an attack. And then let go. Boom. Nice, perfect. There's a time you need to remember. And boom. You gotta or watch. Just wait for the shake and make him quake. Let's live by. Your counter is holding the button and releasing. Don't forget to practice turning down that button a bit. Alright. And now, it's when we finish them off. Uh, they will go down easily by, you know, fire, flowers, but, or brother flowers, rather, but I'm just going to finish them off with brother ham right, rather hammers, regular hammers, because that's what we've been doing this whole time, and apparently I didn't really attack this guy at all, however, aside from counter-attacking, but, yeah. Not very much against me, but we're going to be fighting a lot of these. Well, at least, considering if we don't avoid them. So I'll probably try to avoid as many as I can. Because they'll just become annoying enemies to fight. And hammering can also lead to desification, which will render an enemy unable to attack for a certain number of turns. Of course, the reason we're having spiky enemies is because, well, jump on the spiky dude, you take damage. It's pretty obvious. At least we didn't, you know, become hurt by that. We got a uh, more unarmed scene right there. Oh, tutorial thing. Sorry to disturb you, but this time I must teach you to count beans. Because it's an important skill in life. Press right on the left, or press R if you follow. It tells you the number of beans the juveniles have picked up out of the ground. I'm gonna put these on Baby Mario because, uh, well, of course we're gonna regroup here in a minute to the adults, and it's not really going to matter much because, well, the adults are going to be taking the primary damage. Alright, now to this room. Let's break all these orbs, and there's the adults right there. Unless it's some really weird snot. Us brothers. And, apparently breaking bulbs causes it to sneeze from its nose. Nope. Blinking. They say if you sneeze with your eyes open, your eyes pop out. I, it happened before, and all, all my eyes were like, like mm. Yeah, that's what it means. Slightly. Okay, but, uh, yeah, we're regrouped and stuff, but it's helping butts. It's great for the butts. Teach you how to use hammer when piggybacked. So, choose the hammer. And now, press the A button. And then use the X button. And it'll be like. Banding attacks, instead of just for spiky enemies. There, press B button, 
in the Y button. This is it. Then we counter attack. It's quite a sudden attack there. You would think like it would be the same for counter attacking, but it is because it's primarily the big brothers on the Y like say primarily. But the way like uh like fainting in battle works like if an adult faints the baby takes over and like carries him off to the side so the baby can fight to them. When the baby's down, you know, like, they, like another brother will carry, like, Superstar Saga. Alright, after a couple of level ups there, let's toss the baby on up, hit the switch, and open the thing, and now we can hit the four minion switch. And me and my jump cuts. I like to save as much time as possible. Yay, items and stuff, and we got some new enemies here. These are Duck Shroobs. Can I jump it, please? And these guys have a decent amount of HP, so here's one to get us started. These are some pretty interesting enemies. So, they have regular Shroob types, they just uh, shoot slower, so they're yeah, probably going to take some damage. And, while well, I have some damage on me, I'm just going to use Mushroom Drops, even though Mario doesn't need it. <laughs> Not very much HP healed, but uh, let's hammer him and see if something happens. Like, Mushrooms like that, he'll eat it and he can, uh, heal, he can grow huge, you know, after hammer him away. Then, like, he can also pull out, like, a gray one, which can make him tiny. And some other new enemies we have are Lacka... Wait, what are they called? I don't, I don't even know. I want to say Lacka Tufo, I think that sounds right. Yeah, it's Lacka Tufo. Lacka Tufo, pretty much. So, of course, they're Lacka dudes, they drop spiny things, but... Of course, spiny shrew Koopas. And that's pretty much all they do. They also have like an attack number that sort of tumble at you. They're essentially like uh, the lack of peas in Superstar Saga itself. They have more of an attack. Alright. Yeah, it'll be annoying because you really want to take out the lack of Tufos before spinies, so you don't want more to form. He's eating the mushroom. And super size! Pick up a bean! And let's continue and get another bean! Yeah, of course, we're gonna be throwing a lot of beans at us since we're able to get them. So, into the next room of purple, pink, lab. It's not really lab, but it's like. It's like a cool pink, I guess you could consider it. Like magenta. My commentary is a little weird this episode, apparently. So. That has been opened, and let's pick up the babies. <laughs> Took a little bit more time with it than we needed to. Let's, uh, okay, there's, uh, they always like put like beans near like two foes, and I spat on my screen. I said beans. Those beans is very bean word. Let's simply get this guy out of the way. So there's an electric thing that doesn't hurt us. Yay! Superstar Saga probably been like a woo -hoo -hoo style thing. And let's see if I can avoid that. Since they do not really give you a lot of EXP, so it's gonna be another back and forth style thing. So to spring the peeps as far as poopsable, as far as poopsable, it looks like a frog to me, like the way the eyes are, and then like all the electricity things. Then like here's the mouth or whatever forming. And before this beam keeps like both are like glaring to me, like. Red is like flashing and green behind a fence, and like the beans, like a collectible item. Collect me, please. Uh, let's just bring the baby beans as far as we go. As far as we go. It's actually, ooh, would you? And yeah, because we've got a quadruple thing. Haha, <laughs> baby Mario hit both of them. But Luigi will hit both of these. What? Yeah, <laughs> didn't want to mess that up. Messing around and messing up a thing. So, the babies can come out of this walkway, and we have a way to walk. So, bring them all the way over, smashing boxes on the Y. They put like electrical, or not electrical, but like a steel grate under it. Maybe like you don't, they don't want you to like, maybe it's like a, a hollow thing, and it would make you pop up inside the block and it's like all messed up. It's like the Toad Spirit's flushing through the thing, Ew. 
So this room to the left is pretty much going to be for, like, collectible stuffs. So, beans. Uh, I think there's going to be an enemy in the way. Yeah, Dr. Steel, I'm just going to avoid you. And we have something interesting here. Let's read what it says. Piggyback. Man jump. Babe jump. Hit high block. Joy. Maybe the troops will not get to joy. Maybe they come in peace, but they're just misunderstood. Yeah. Whatever, brother, the orb of light goes to, hit it, and it becomes coins. It's pretty much like the rally block in Superstar Saga, because it becomes faster and you have to hit it as soon as you possibly can. And you can get a lot of coins out of this. I got a good 320. And now into the room. From the right, cannonballers. So if you have to show this off, but I'll definitely be showing them off in the boss where you're fighting. And item, bro flowers. And one little last puzzle before we get to the boss preparation room. So you may think this is how, like, may think this is how it's gonna go. Sounds like something notistical. Anyway, yeah. Here are the beams up there. There's the platform. There's things for the big brothers to hit. Let's make a stop right here. The brothers go camp over here. That's the thing. And the baby's a regular thing, so I can do this baby Luigi to activate stuff or I think wait a second. Yeah, I think there's yeah, we just wanna activate it all in one go. Mushrooms, points, three shells, no 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 no. Alright, get these blocks and we shall Form the rest of the bridge for the babies to cross on over. Can't make it easy with a baby bringing pipe block thing. So, let's hit the switch to the room with a save block in it. And la 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 la, let's save and quit. And in the next episode of Let's Play Bar and Luigi Partner in Time, we will fight the boss of the Vim Factory. Until next time, do not toast yourself.